Good afternoon, everyone, and let me be the first to officially and finally welcome you to the new junior school at GNS. Yes. Since its establishment here at Beach Drive in 1932 as Glenline Preparatory School for Boys, this school has undergone many, many changes over the years. However, none of those changes have been as significant and as far-reaching as our recent rebuild as a result of the Wonder Campaign. This new campus that you see all around you has been many, many years in the making and many millions of dollars. And I just have to remind myself of that when I look out tonight and I see two former heads of school David Brooks and Simon Bruce Lockhart, who are back there, both over 10 years as head. I'm sure they were talking about this in their time as well. So here we are, a number of years later, bringing in this beautiful campus. I think you would all agree that when we look around and see what we've accomplished here, that the impact that it's having on the children, that every minute of our time, every late night meeting, of which there were many, and every dollar donated, all of it, all of it, was worth it for what we have today. Our celebration today will run for four hours. The students asked for eight. We, we said, how about we split it in the middle, let's go with four hours. So this part of the program will be brief, but I, also, but I want to have a chance for a few people to say a couple of words. So I want to start with our chair of the board, Mr. Curtis Munstock, to come forward and bring greetings from the, the Board of Governors. Curtis. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Good, yes. thanks. Um, I can't hear myself, but uh, thank you, Chad. It's such an honor for me to be here with you all today um, and as Chad said to get the opportunity to recognize and thank all of those in our GNS community who've done so much so much work in uh, helping to revitalize this campus in the last few months I'd say maybe six months or so um, I've heard from quite a few people both within and outside of the GNS community who have referred to these facilities and to this junior school as the most inspiring and engaging learning facilities in this country. Who am I to argue about that? Um, what an incredible achievement. So many people gave so much of, their, of themselves and their talents, and not to mention their hard-earned money, to first envision what this would all look like, and then to make it re uh, reality. To build and leave this legacy that 100 years worth of GNS students will be thankful for in the end. Now, if I were to thank everyone for their contributions in making this dream a reality, we would be here for quite some time and I think we'd have a lot of restless kids on our hands. So, on behalf of the Board of, uh, the Board of Governors, which I feel the privilege to chair, I want to thank four very important groups of people that made this happen. First, I'd like to thank the Society Boards of Governors over the past 10 years. Second, the GNS Foundation Board. Third, the Wonder Cam Campaign Cabinet. And then fourth, the Building Committee and its chair, Blair Robertson, without whose uh, expertise we would, uh, we would be nowhere. I think Blair served as the chair of this cabinet or of this uh, committee for the past nine years. So and that's a lot of work for no pay and, and very little thanks. So I think he alone deserves perhaps a round of applause from yes. us. And on behalf of everyone associated with GNS, thank you to the four groups that I just mentioned for all the work that they have done. Now, back to Chad, and I think you have a special announcement. I do. Great, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Curtis. Um, it's an honor to be here today, and um, just as we were talking about over the last over the last number of years, um, there's been a lot of people that need uh, thanks, and I want to add a couple other people to, uh, to this list, without whom the dream would have not turned into reality here today. 
It was 10 years ago that this conversation started to take flight. And it was really just at that point, it was a dream of what we see here today. So three particular groups I just want to highlight. One, to the donors. Thank you. Collectively, this group of donors at, at GNS have contributed $14 million specific to this campus. So thank you to the donors. <laughs> to the teachers and staff who I know are not here and cannot hear because they're inside trying to hold the children back from the bouncy castles. But these are some of the most hardworking and caring professionals that I've ever had the chance to work with. And every time we ask them to pack up all their stuff, to move to the next classroom, to move into portables, to move again, to getting an announcement three days before we opened the school a year ago to say, we're gonna move into our new building. No fuss, just picked everything up, rolled into their new facility and packed everything up yet again. So to the teachers and to the staff here at the Beach Drive, thank you. And to the students, why we're all here. They're why we do what we do. And when we work together with the parents, the families, the students, the staff, that's where the magic happens in the partnership. So I'm really excited to get the students out here and to thank them because it's an exciting time to be here at GNS. And so, who will do that for us is we're going to ask someone to come up here and say a few words. So I want to ask Laird Bjornsson to join us up here and to say a few words on behalf of the students. Laird. Hello everybody. It's great to be here and I have prepared a little speech for everyone. And uh, hope you enjoy. This thank you on behalf of all the students is to our parents. Thank you for the opportunity to go to a great school like GNS. And thank you for the opportunity to learn in a great environment with teachers who truly care for us. We all appreciate the donors that provide their financial resources to help build all the facilities. And a big thanks to everyone helping out in the GNS community. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Larry. Great job there. Okay, it's time to announce, this is the part where we get to announce the, where we sit in our Wonder Campaign. So I'm going, to, I'm going to ask for some help from the junior school students. So we're going to, we're going to start with where are, we, where are we currently are. So we're going to count it off. And I thought we have a lot of students here, so now I need the parents to help me count it off. Look at that. But I know I've got John here, so we're, we're in really good shape. So we're going to start with, where's number one? Okay, come on down. So there's one. Can we get two? There's two. Three. Four. There's five. Here comes number six. Seven. Will, come on over. Eight. Nine. Here comes ten. Eleven. Twelve. Where's twelve? Perfect. Thirteen. Fourteen. Wow, 15, here comes 16, 17, oh my goodness, is that 18? 18 million dollars, we're good. Woo! Now do you think we have one more in there? I think we might have one more in there. Here comes number 19, 19 million. Now wait a minute, could we possibly have one more? Wouldn't it be nice if we could break $20 million? We have, there's Chelsea, come on down Chelsea. Woo!
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled that we have now raised just over $20 million as part of our $27 million goal towards the Wonder Campaign. The next $7 million will raise funds for upgrading our Pemberton Woods campus so that it will be as inspiring as a place as it is here at the Beach Drive campus and will take us over the finish line as we reach our total goal of $27 million. However, today it is the day to celebrate here at the beach. And so it is my pleasure to officially declare the Glenline Norfolk School Beach Drive Campus open. Everybody, open the carnival. Join us. Please run through. You're welcome to join us. Enjoy the carnival. Thank you for coming. Thank you for part of being part of GNS.